All right, guys. So yesterday we had a hilariously terrible Hogwarts Legacy review that was published by Wired. So you can see this individual, and, and I made a video about it, gave the game a 1 out of 10. And, you know, opinions, one thing, you know, if, if they truly felt that it was a 1 out of 10, if they really went through the actual bits and pieces, mechanics of the game, that would be understandable. But if you looked in this review and you actually sat down and read it, you would see, shut up, I ain't signed up for no letter wired. Especially after this review, you would see that it is full of political commentary. It's basically this person's trauma dumping and soapbox for their oppression as a person and how it relates to J.K. Rowling um, and her controversial statements that are transphobic and bigotry and, and all this stuff. So literally this whole review has nothing to do with the game. There's no in-depth talk about the game, the graphics, the gameplay, anything. Uh, it's literally just a woe is me, virtue signaling, uh, trauma dumping, terrible article that is causing a lot of people to accuse it of political bias lacking journalistic integrity and and more so now there's an update to this so this recent review of hogwarts legacy basically caused quite the stir online and uh you know when you when you hold a game that's as high claimed to a one i mean how often do you see a game get ranked a one out of ten like like what <laughs> I can't even think of anything that is normally like a terrible game that's that low. But now we have a new contender that has sank his teeth into the fray. And you take right here a look at Gideon Litchfield. Now, this just ain't a normal individual. This is actually the editor-in-chief at Wired. So, yeah, this is her her boss, her head, her head honcho. Um he publicly taken to Twitter to endorse this controversial review. Now, you might be wondering, what's the big fuss about all this? Well, as a professional journalist, you know, the individual that reviewed the game, a 1 out of 10, should maintain journalistic integrity. You know, I'm not trying to, like, <laughs> say she didn't have the right to her opinion, but when you're making a review of a consumer product, you have to have some journalistic integrity. So you have to be impartial for the most part. And you have to have objective evaluations of what you're reviewing without being influenced by personal beliefs and political agendas, which her review clearly did not. Let's face it, a score out of 1 of 10 for Hogwarts Legacy is far from an objective evaluation. It's completely obvious that it's not. So there's been a shift in focus from, you know, proper evaluations of games as of late to deeper society uh, social commentary, and it's becoming a concerning trend. And that's why people call it woke while you're being woke and you're part of a woke mob. And it's gaining a lot of like momentum in the gaming industry. There's a, this is like gamer gate all over again. Now it is important to take into account, you know, the wider context of the issue and the backstory and all that. But again, separate the art from the Arthur, right? It's equally important to assess the game properly as a standalone product. You're supposed to be reviewing the game, right? So my main question, and uh, I want you guys to take a look at his tweet real quick, is, is why is he endorsing the editor-in-chief who should have the highest standard of you know, journalistic ethics out of place, which is easy to say. Uh, why is he endorsing a review that lacks objectivity objectivity a review that's focused on personal opinions and all this weird identity politic agenda stuff. So yeah, here's the thing. Here's here's the obvious elf in the room. They do not have journalistic integrity at all as a website. They are endorsing a a review that essentially prior prioritized um, just bad mouthing J.K. Rowling instead of reviewing the actual game. So yeah. They are essentially failing everybody that reads this website, in my opinion. Is that easy to say? Yeah, it is easy to fucking say. Think of think if it was the other way around. Think of if it was a beloved game that the LGBTQ 
community uh, absolutely loved and a publication just trashed it. Think of it was the other way around. If it was a right wing leaning website and a conservative author trashing a game for being super woke, they would have a field day with it. But we're supposed to take it. We're supposed to understand the endorsement. It, it again, it's prior try pri, pri, I can't talk today. Holy smoke! It is prioritizing agendas instead of a proper fair review. So again, like I was saying. It really is imperative for journalists to maintain journalistic integrity uh, and be impartial in your reviews. And, you know, look at his, look at what he had to say. And he even kind of his tweet even really has no mention about the game. Even if you're a Hogwarts Legacy fan, read at Good Gina's review. <laughs> Good Gina. I'm sure she doesn't have Good Gina. And try to hear what it's saying. This gets deep inside some of the paradoxes of J.K. Rowling fandom, as well as making a key point about how much the game industry depends on queer creators. Like, like what is the game industry depending on queer creators have to do whether a video game is is good or not? C- can somebody honestly answer me that? Like, it's an honest, genuine, curious question here. What does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with letting people that are reading your publication know if a video game is worth buying the money or not? A video game review is not your place for a personal soapbox. It's not your place for a personal trauma dump. It's not your place to be uh, with your fucking shining armor to be a white knight for, you know, whatever political agenda you're wanting to... uh, shove into um into people's faces that's that's why it's called woke woke culture it's you're purposely using the symbolisms and and buzzwords and and labels that signify people that are actually discriminated against and oppressed to push your beliefs your agenda you're not concerned with helping people where where all in the one out of ten review that this gentleman is endorsing, did it even make a real call for activism? It it didn't. It was a woe is me story. Oh, my life is terrible. You know what I mean? Life does suck and then you die. That's the catchphrase, right? You know, everybody has a hard life. Everybody's been oppressed. I I've, I've had my fair share of it, but no, God forbid. God forbid you play fucking Hogwarts Legacy because then you're a fucking bigot. Let's rank that game a 1 out of 10. Let's be realistic. Hogwarts Legacy is not a 1 out of 10 game. You're putting it in the same category as like Big Rigs, another game that got like a 1 out of 10. I don't fucking think so. (laughs) Fucking ridiculous.